friends welcome into my channel today my name is sherry if you're new welcome and if you're returning as always welcome back we are working in our december daily again today for a little while i thought i'd turn the camera on and bring you along and um, i think we'll probably get the signature sewn in and maybe a few other little things done today so if you'd like to see how this December daily is going to come together. Keep watching. All right, you guys. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. We had absolutely gorgeous weather here where we live. So we spent a lot of time outside in our side by side, riding around in the mountains. And it was just absolutely beautiful watched our last two youngest grandkids soccer games and yeah had lunch with some friends it was just a really wonderful weekend so I hope you had a good weekend and I hope you're all well um I figured we're getting pretty darn close to sewing the signature in on this um there are a few pages I may add. I have my basket here. This is a retro kit from Joey Cardmaker. So I have some retro TV guides and old booklets that I often pull things out of and add to my journals anyway. If you've seen any of my videos, this is a page from 1949. Uh, same with this and then just some TV guide. I thought I would do some, um, I just thought that was cool because it's old, old looking, um, probably from 1949 as well. I thought maybe we could collage on the back to make it either a tuck spot or something. So, and then I have some of the kit uh, things. So I just thought we would, I sort of wanted to decide... Some of this paper, especially the 1949 paper, even the 1975 um, TV guide is, I'm afraid it's going to tear. So I'm cautious about folding it and putting it in the middle. I've already got everything pretty well put together. We'll give it a flip through. I've sewn around some, not all pages. I'm basically doing this, so I'll count it out for you. Hopefully I count it out right the first time, but this is going to have 31 basically pages that you can write on plus more because it's for December. Keep track of, you know, your days in December and what you do and, you know, family events, what have you. So I counted this as page one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 16, I'm not sure if I was going to count this as 17 or not. Let's not and see where we end up. Maybe, let's see, 17, 18, 19, 20 maybe, 21, 
25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. Yeah, so it'll it'll come out just right with, with extra pages too. So let's just double check and make sure everything's centered. If you've never sewn in a signature before, I just kind of like to go through, make sure everything is centered. Now I've already got some TV guide in here on this page. I do have another piece out. I don't really mind putting this paper in. I just always worry that it's going to tear. But you know what? I wanted to put this by the New Year's Eve page because it's America's Band American Bandstand's 23rd birthday special. Isn't that funny? Look how young he was. So, yeah, I thought that would be cute there. Um, we can work back from that. Just right now, sort of centering the kit pages. Making sure everything is looking like I want it to before we sew it in. And this is just my own coffee dyed paper as well. God, you know, it's funny. It was so beautiful and sunny all weekend. And it's a little bit cloudy today. I don't know if it's coming across that way on my camera, but okay. This is the New Year's Eve paper. So I thought this would be fun to put right here. To represent New Year's Eve, since that's sort of the New Year's Eve paper. Yep, everything is looking pretty good. There's our center, so I think we're fine. The only thing we need to do is decide where we wanna add a couple of these vintage pages. We could go maybe like somewhere like right here. Here and then that's a TV guide. And then maybe like right here. Yeah, I think that would be fine. So that way it looks like we've got our signature all ready to sew in. These other pieces we will add in. I also got this out of a out of the coronet, so it's just a, a quote that I thought would be pretty to put right around Christmas Day. And again, this is just retro, so I wanted to collage the back of that and the back of this and just make them something to add, just something different, you know. I like to add more than just the kit pages to my journals and what I'm going to do is I like to just sort of center it as best I can so that I'm about equal distance top and bottom and then I'm going to take my four clips if you haven't seen this before it's a three hole pamphlet stitch and if you put your if you put your clips closer to the spine I find that works really well. I'm just going to flip it around and go to the opposite side. Hold it down. <laughs> Couldn't grab it. Yay, yay. Ay, yeah, 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 guys. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. I have some other journals in mind I want to make. I'm really thinking of some Christmas gifts. One would be a bee journal. Oh, I forgot to put my ring back on. I made my meatloaf. 
took my ring off and forgot to put my ring back on. Um, yeah, one would be a B journal. One would be a sea tortoise, sea turtle. Um, one would be a celestial. And the other one would be maybe like a puppy dog. I'm not quite sure. But I'm thinking about doing those. And if I want to get those done by Christmas, I need to get a start on it. So what I'm going to do is I take my awl and I'm just going to come right into the center of the book. Eyeball it. Let's see. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So four and a half. One, two, three, four. So yeah, right, right about in here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can put it anywhere and it's going to be fine. I have a lot of paper and thick material. Even a little batting maybe sticking out there. We can cut that off. And then about an inch down from the top, just roughly, it doesn't have to be exact. Again, just give it a good push. This is tough material. And it's two layers of manila envelopes too, which also makes it a little tougher to get through. Yes, yeah, so I got my meatloaf all ready for dinner. And I'm also going to make, I, I get a farm box. I've mentioned Tally Farms to you in prior videos and it came this last order came with some really nice eggplant and it has a recipe for eggplant and egg, eggplant lasagna i'm just cutting those little bits of, of uh, batting that were in there so now i need to decide what color we're going to sew this with I typically, I think that's all my colors. Let me look and see. I moved some of my stuff around. Yeah, that is all the colors I have currently. So I'm going to probably, I'm going to go with this one. I use that one a lot and I use this one a lot. I think this one would be fine. Let's go ahead and do that one. And we're going to go three lengths, basically one two and three cut right about there should be something just about like that set those aside and i always lose the cover to my awl so i try to put it on there and put it away before i lose it and that needle will be just fine yeah once you get your signature you know kind of your papers together and your signature sewn in it seems like it goes pretty quickly. So what I like to do is I'll start in the center, come out, and I'll hold till I've got just a little tail down here at the bottom. I usually come to the bottom and go back in. You could go to the top and come in. It, it's, pers it's up to you, it's just a matter of how you wanna do it. Now we're gonna go back through the center, but we wanna make sure we don't split our other thread. So we didn't split it. We've got right beside it, which is perfect. You can give it a little pull if you can get a hold of your bottom string, and then you come back in through the top. I just poke it right back through. Again, give it a good pull just to make sure, make sure it's tight. And you can see this string is on this side. So we're gonna take, and we're gonna go to the opposite side. Take that out, give it another good tightening down. I usually do two, two knots. I'm not gonna tie this or anything like in a bow or cut it or anything yet because I don't exactly know what I'm gonna put on those. If anything, I do have some charms coming oops, and some, some fun stuff I ordered. So I'm not sure if any of that will, will go on there, but I think it might. So. Anyway, we're done with our clips. We're done with our needles, so let's put that away. 
lid's a little broken. So now we officially have our signature sewn in. And one always hopes they did it the right way and not upside down. And in this case, we did not. So what we want to do is put in, I've already inked some pockets. I got a, <clears throat> I got a belly band made and a fabric flip. So we could start sort of just deciding where we want to put things in here. And I'm also going to be putting the numbers. I don't have those individually cut out yet, but I'll show you what they look like. They're right here. Yes. So each page is going to get a number. So it will indicate like if we make this our first page, then this will go here. I might off camera probably make some little clusters with these with some fabric ink around them. And then I'll put like the 1st of December, 2nd of December, so on and so forth. But anyway, that's what's going to be on our writing pages. So we're kind of leaving those available to write on. This is just a little fabric flip. So we'll put that one there. And then I like to come to the opposite if we should do that here a little bit stronger structure let's do that there and then we can come here and do the belly band that would be good and we've got corner pockets one two We've got these pockets. We've got that little guy to glue together. So two small corner pockets, two big corner pockets, a lot of um, double-sided journal cards. And we'll probably be making some other little pockets with some stuff as well. So let's decide. So we could go, have a little writing space there. Just trying to think of where I want to put a corner pocket. Would I want a corner pocket maybe here? And then other side of that which is right here right is that the other side of that sometimes I like yeah no it's the other side of that okay we could do the other corner pocket there pretty together and then come in a few pages maybe put those are both red they would go but just thinking of breaking these up a little bit putting one there and one there Then more with our little corner pockets. Maybe this little corner pocket there. The other side of this one here. And that pretty much takes care of our pockets that we currently have, but we have room to add more, which is perfect. I did not sew in my glassine bag, and it is too wide. We may do something with this, like a wraparound. So that's always an option. So let's go ahead and get our 
things glued in. We can get that glued around. Where's my Fabri-Tac at the ready and our glitter glue at the ready. This is going to be a pretty chunky journal. But it's going to be cute. I like doing December dailies. I didn't do one last year. So I was really looking. <laughs> glue all over my fingers. Um, I was looking forward to doing one this year. Okay. It's my paper towel. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to get rain. But it sure is looking a little bit cloudy. But it's warm today. It's 76 out. So it's, it's nice and warm. Yeah, so as I was saying, I'm going to make that eggplant lasagna. So I'll have to let you guys know how that turns out. Let's put that back in here for now. It sounds really good and very, fairly simple. So as I said, I've already inked around all of this stuff, sewn around some haven't really sewn around tags and journal cards yet, but that is okay we've got time i didn't eat my lunch before i started this video but i did have kind of a later breakfast than normal so i think i'll probably be good to just have a little snack in a little while then I'll get the eggplant lasagna made up, put that in the fridge with the meatloaf. And when you're putting your pockets and everything in like this, guys, don't overthink it. It really, you know, you've got so much room to add more. I always like to leave room for whoever gets the journal, whoops, whoever gets the journal to add more. Especially Christmas, you know, there could be mementos people want to add. There could be receipts. There could be any number of things. So um, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter where you place them. Just that you're happy with it. That's that's what matters. Got a little bit of glue on the inside of that one pocket on that side. So I wanted to make sure it didn't stick. Sometimes you just have to hold your little corners down for a, a little bit. You could have also done this a double pocket on the same page, two on the same page, but I didn't today. And then do a little one. That's cute with the ice skates. Got the little trees in the back. Super cute. And you've always got room to write up here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I think we go to the other side where we get our little pocket added in corner pocket pocket this pocket What are you guys making for dinner? Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to know. I always plan my dinners out ahead. There's times we change and change our mind or go out or something like that. But I always like to have some sort of general idea anyway of what I'm doing for dinner. And if it ends up waiting till the next night, that's fine too. But Back 
guy in. Should be coming up on our big pocket, big corner pocket. So if you add your own elements and personalize these, they, it really is a lot of fun. Take, you know, take the kit as, as a base and ideas, and then you make it your own. You can do it with fabric, you can do it with lace, you can do it with all kinds of things. Just really limited by your imagination at that point. Okay, there's that in. A bit more. Sometimes those corners don't really want to catch. When we were on our side by side ride yesterday, uh, we saw two herds of does. And maybe some fawns. One group had five, and I think the other group had six. They were so pretty. So pretty. Get your packages going the right way, girl. Yeah, I love to see the deer and the wildlife when we're out and about. What do we see? A few lizards, some birds, the two. Two herds of deer. We didn't see any bucks. None of the males were making themselves visible. I'm sure they were around, but I don't know where they were. Now we've got this little guy we can glue together. It's just a cute little envelope that we will glue and decide where we're going to put it. It'll probably just be um, pinned in clipped in so it can be removed. That's usually the way I do these. Just glue that shut. And we can make a little closure for it. Um, there's some ephemera in here. We could decorate the front of this with. Let's see, what did I have for that? Just trying to remember. Some journaling cards I've already already um, sewn around. You could put this on here, put a little stamp, photo, a little postage stamp. That would be cute. I don't know. I do have some stamps out. Thought about incorporating some stamps, but I don't know. I thought I had like the little postage mark, but I guess I don't. I'm gonna have to be on the lookout for one of those. I'm not seeing it here anyway. So maybe we'll just cut out this little guy. We can always decorate him up more. Ink him up. Ink. Just distress this little guy. He's a little guy. Put him right here. Put him right there. Let's put him right there, but let's put him on something. Just put him on a little piece of something. Can put him on a little piece of our material. to make him a little extra cuter and to stand out. Put him right there and leave the little strings on. Get our fabric tack. Probably 
probably sit on my front porch this afternoon after I get my eggplant lasagna made and edit this video. So it should be pretty nice out there. And if it starts to rain, that would be fun too. Put that little guy right there. While those are drying, I'm going to cut out this little circle. We're going to use that for the little closure tab on the back. If you're cutting circles, move your paper, not your scissors, if you can. It just makes it come out a little bit better, but I am not great at circles. That's why I chose the square um, chose the square uh, numbers for my December daily. This one we can just put it like that, ink around it, and I just want to glue the bottom half of it, so like from the thanks underneath, so we can use it to tuck in. There we go. Tuck. And then we can come in maybe with one of these. Put Christmas wishes right there. Let's do that. Is cute I like that it doesn't have to be overly decorated guys it really doesn't it can be very simple and very cute that is good we're gonna let that dry just a little bit though while we move on and I think we've got all our we've got our pockets that we have made in. So let's do just a little bit of collaging while that dries. Um, I'll try to get the uh, clusters made with the, um, the numbers before we get back to work on this. Uh, we do want to put maybe some lace down on some pages. I've got some collage papers here. But these are collage, and where is, there should be, hold on. I've got so many papers going so many directions. Thought I had. Those were some I accidentally printed on regular paper, not card stock. I thought I had, I did have that collage page. I just don't know where I put it. I did have it. I did. Oh, here it is. Um, nope. Thought I had one. Okay, guys. I just went to my printer and I uh, printed out too many projects going here. That one that was cardstock. I'm just printing it on printer paper. So we're just using those for collage. So I can set this aside for now. Um, we haven't decided where we're going to put this yet, so that'll go back in the bucket. These we're going to collage. Let's stick the journal right over here for now. And we collage 
massage on the back of these. Okay, perfect. Perfect, that's what I wanted. Some collage paper. So, and I can always print this out again if I want it for something else. So let's get this guy collage. I just thought that was a crack up. Take 13 records or tapes for $1.97. And I remember doing that. I remember when my parents did it. Pretty funny. Pretty, pretty funny. So let's take our glue page. Maybe tear. Tear here. You're just getting that white border off. Trying to anyway. Okay. Let's go ahead and say, what do we want? We want maybe we could come up here with that guy. Blue book. Earlier, before I got started on my video, it seems like Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, there's always gardeners in the neighborhood. So inevitably, as soon as I go to start my video, ow, oh, my thumb, my guy, sorry. Ah, oh, just caught on me. I have arthritis in that thumb and it sometimes it just kills me. So yeah, we um we always have the gardeners in the in the uh, neighborhood. And this is just a little bit of kit paper, background paper that's in the kit. Yeah, so I'm always like, okay, here we go. Let's start a video. I'm surprised my dogs haven't been barking. This is almost kind of a miracle. Because they usually get to barking when I start a video. A little bit all around that one. There we go. Wrinkled a little, but that's okay. Just adds character, right? Change my blue page getting sticky. And let's come in. Where should we? Oh, I like this little guy. I like that little guy. Let's take him. Should we take him with or without a border? Whoops. Sometimes you don't get enough pressure there. Take him. He is a cutie pie. Next Monday, my daughter called me this morning. Sometimes we go grocery shopping together, and she called to see if I needed anything, and she was going to the store with the baby. And I said, well, I really don't need anything today because we grocery shopped over the weekend, but so we decided that next Monday we're going to do a shop, grocery shopping date. We'll take Aspen and Cove to school, and then her and Cove and I will go grocery, or go. I'll take her out to breakfast, which works out really well because the probably where we would go to breakfast is right next to the Dollar Tree, and I always like to stop in there when I can. Um, so yeah, so we'll go to breakfast and then we'll go do a little bit of grocery shopping. So that'll be nice. I always love spending time with my girls. My other daughter, Sarah, who's got my older grandkids, she works full time. And um, Molly is a full time stay at home mom. So that's a full time job right there, as we well know. And um, 
get some of this in here. So yeah, so I don't get to see her as much. She's busy working seven, I mean, five days a week and they're busy with hockey and soccer. Well, just finishing up soccer, except Harper's on the traveling soccer team and there's some sort of tournament going on here, but then they all, Gavin and Harper do hockey, ice hockey and roller hockey and ice hockey. So they will be starting that pretty soon as well. There would that be okay? There, let's tear it down just a little. So, yeah, they'll be starting roller hockey and ice, then they also do ice hockey. Um, and my little ones are starting roller hockey this year, plus, Aspen does dance, and she just finished hockey I mean, soccer, so did Ryder. <clears throat> they're going to do <coughs> hockey, so that'll be fun. I'd like to put this little Christmas tree in the middle. So, yep, I tell you, these parents are busy. But, you know, we were when our kids were little, too. And now we get wore out a little bit sooner than we used to, but we do go to as many of the games and everything as we can maybe not harper's traveling because that's sometimes a little harder for us to get to but we always try to go to everything we can that's here as much as we can let's bring that right here and we could even cut this up but i did think it would be kind of neat to have just because of that retro retro aspect to it. This can go here. We've got a little blue to cover up there. Yeah, Molly and I used to do that a lot too. Um, we would go grocery shopping together and then we'd go out to lunch, but now we have to be back by noon to pick up Aspen. So we'll we'll just do breakfast instead of lunch, but that'll be that'll be fun. That will be just perfectly fun. Let's some bigger trees and some of that. Let's get some of this on here. stocked in my fridge and my freezer for right now. Um, there's always a few little things that I end up needing, like come the weekend, milk, eggs, things like that, but I've got plenty of meat and then I get my farm box tomorrow. So that's always a good week's worth of produce. And I a lot of times I'll share that with her too. Because it's more than, I mean, we can eat it, but I like to share with her. But I do like to use up, like I said, I'm using the eggplant and some of the squash tonight. And um, let's get some, maybe some more of this down here. Oops, just dropped. <laughs> I just dropped Patricia and Mariah on the floor. Sorry, girls. Sorry, girls. They sit right up here in my filming stand. But I hucked them on the ground. And I did. And then that way, too, my husband can have leftovers for lunches, which is really, I like to have leftovers for him for lunch. So, I don't really know what tomorrow would be Taco Tuesday. I guess I could do tacos tomorrow for Taco Tuesday. That's really coming out cute. And one more little 
Oh yeah, let's do this here. Did I tear it wide enough? Yep, right there, perfect. So there's that one. Got a little bit to cover there too. A little skinny piece. Get rid of that white there. Yeah, there we go. up into the tree all right I think that's pretty cute for just a quick collage card and then have the retro on the other side so you could use it in the in the journal however you would want to let me throw some of these little tiny bits away keep the bigger bits whoops that one fell on the floor one of my well willow my dog willow my youngest one stole. I went out into the living room today and some of this bling on the roll thing. She stole a silver package off my rolling cart. And I was just wondering about doing a little stamp up in the corner. Might be kind of fun. What should we do? I don't really have anything Christmassy. Maybe just some words. Maybe the words. Oh, you know it would be even better than that. Never mind. Never mind. Backing it up a little bit. Backing it up. Um, yeah, so she stole. I'm, I was able to salvage quite a bit of it, but still stink pot. Okay, let's do the archival brown. The coffee. Color, I think would be cute. Whoops. Stay on my block. Stay on my block. So yeah, she sneaks in here and steals things from mom's craft room. She's a sneaky little thing. Hopefully that will work right there. image from it. Nope, that's fine. We could do a... There. Cute. I like that. Okay, just added a little more something to that. And then... Here comes doggies. Here comes doggies. Where did I put the other one we were going to collage on? Oh, here it is. That is the coronet. So let's collage on this one. Put my stamp up there. Stamps out of the way. Let's do something with big trees. Come on, Sherry. You got this. I'm not even sure what I... Oh, you know, we had some wings the other day. I think I could heat those up and have, have those for lunch. There's only a few there. It's already 112, so I don't really need to eat very big, but just need to get a little snack to hold me till dinner. Could actually come right down there with that.
don't know, this little guy seems like he wants to be part of the party too. He wants to be included. Bob. Bob wants to come play. Because Bob says, look at me. I'm all decked out for the holidays. I'm dressed up for the party. And nobody's even used me yet. I'm going right over here and I'm just hanging out. Waiting for all the girls to get here. All right. Let's do a, maybe a little something like that there. That wouldn't be too bad. My doggy crying outside. Not mine. They could be outside, but I know they're not out there crying. Oop. Time to change my. There they go. There they go barking. Now that's the doggies I know. Book page. Sticky book page. Some nice scraps though. Now you can hear the gardeners if you listen. They might have been on a lunch break earlier. Maybe that's why we weren't hearing them. Yep. Put that there. So we're using the ephemera that's in the kit, but we're also making our own, which is quite fun. Okay. Let's see, what else do we want to use? Some of this might be fun. over here on my book. Right about, right about there. Yep, right about there. Sorry, I got quiet on you guys. Didn't mean to. Hey, Max. What are you doing, buddy? What's Willow barking at, huh? What's our willow girl barking at? Do you know? Oops. He's, I don't know. Let me go see. See what my sister's doing. What she's barking at. It's probably the gardeners in the neighborhood, I would dare to bet. I just need a little piece of something here. Here. Just trying to tear this little piece to cover there.
then we will be done for today. Next time we'll start filling pockets and getting this journal all finished up. A little bit of white on that bottom, but that's okay. It's quite all right. And just a little piece there. Glad I got those two pieces collaged. All right, you guys, I think that's going to be it for today. I'm going to go ahead and stick these under a book to flatten them, clean up my mess here, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Take care, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell button so that you do not miss any new uploads. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Take care, be safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.